Hey, it's Clark Green from ScoutmasterCG.com. It just published podcast number 170. It's a discussion I had with the National Youth Council Chair of Scouts Australia, Chris Nielsen. Why do they have a National Youth Council Chair, you ask? Well, that's a pretty good question and one I wanted to get an answer to. And uh, listen to my interview with Chris on podcast number 170. Go to ScoutmasterCG.com and check it out. You can also, while you're there, check out this. Uh, one of my favorite activities when we're out camping is doing a little bit of stargazing, getting out at night, taking a look up at the night sky and seeing what's there. Uh, there are a couple of tools that I use to do that. One of them is real familiar to you if you have a smartphone. I have an iPod Touch and uh, this is called Skywalk. It's an app for my iPod Touch and if you watch uh, the sky uh, is shown in kind of like real time uh, as you take a look around with it. It can be a really useful tool. Um, I like Skywalk the best. I know there's dozens of different apps out there. Uh, that one is the one that works for me. Second is a pair of binoculars. Now, don't go nutty uh, buying $1,000 binoculars if you, you just want to kind of casually look at the sky. Uh, I use these for everything, for bird watching and, and just, you know, general binocular type stuff when we're out camping. Um, these are Barskas. They're waterproof. They're 10 by 25. And in binocular speak, that means they're uh, 10 times uh, magnification with a 25 degree or a 25 millimeter objective on them. That seems to work just about right. Of course, you can spend as much money on binoculars as you like, but I think I paid all of about 20 or 25 bucks for these. Waterproof is good. I've gone through a couple of pairs of non-waterproof binoculars that got water in them, and so uh, a couple extra bucks for that is good. These you can pick up on Amazon. You can pick up at a discount store. Now, you can't necessarily see the rings of Saturn or the moons of Jupiter with these, but you can resolve things like uh, get a look at, uh, you can see the faint outline of the Andromeda galaxy and the Crab Nebula and things like that. And plus, just getting out and turning these on the night sky will surprise you because you will be amazed at all the stars that you'll be able to see that you wouldn't normally be able to see with the naked eye. So a little binocular astronomy is well worth your time. The next thing I have is a green kind of astronomy grade laser pointer. I can't believe how inexpensive these are. I think I paid like 10 or 11 dollars for this and uh, it's green. It's not a red, it's, it's not a red laser pointer like you know your normal boardroom kind of laser pointer. Uh, and it's pretty powerful, so this isn't something that I hand to scouts. Uh, and it's powerful enough that uh, at night you can actually see the beam of the laser pointer. And it's really effective for pointing out stars and constellations with some accuracy. It's, it's great for showing scouts how to find the North Star, for instance, which is, I think, uh, what, a second class requirement? Learning to find uh, your way during the day and night without a compass. Am I right about that? The night sky uh, playing card deck, this is pretty much strictly for fun. But you know, you like to have uh, multi-purpose things uh, in your kit when you're out camping. So we've got a set of cards and you can play cards and then go stargazing or go stargazing and then play cards. But it's, it's actually a pretty interesting idea. It's just a set of playing cards with um, constellations on them. Kind of cool. One of the other things I have is this uh, Sky Guide, which was printed by Golden Guides. If you're familiar with those, those uh, Golden Guides have been around for ages. And this one probably hasn't changed all that much in the past 20 or 30 years. But uh, it's very usable. It's easy to reference. You'll find the information that you're looking for pretty easily. And uh, I've carried this with me for oh gosh about 20 years now a couple of the other things you want to think about when you're out stargazing get online go to sky and telescope magazine's website or astronomy magazine's website or 
dozens of other ones out there and learn a little bit about uh, meteor showers and when you'll be able to spot those you might have to get up pretty early in the morning or stay up pretty late at night to be able to see them but it's well worth it if you're out when it's nice and clear the other thing is is looking for satellites there's some satellite tracking uh, websites where you can get an idea of when they're going to appear in your part of the world and at what time if you have the opportunity to be out when the sky lab crosses the sky that's that's pretty impressive those are just a few little things that I use uh, when I'm out camping and we're doing astronomy or doing a little stargazing I'll show you where to find them come and visit me on scoutmastercg.com thanks so much for uh, watching and we'll see you next time